What's up guys, Swift here covering everything Chicago Bears. We're coming off a tough loss to the New Orleans Saints, but after spending a ton of time in the film room, I have a few things that I'd like to discuss about this Bears team and how they played in that game. Today I'm breaking down Tevin Jenkins' performance. PFF graded him out as the number one offensive lineman in the entire National Football League last week. What I saw on tape was dominating. Let's head over to the film room and get right into it. I will also be breaking down Tyson Bajan and Montez Sweat tomorrow. Stay tuned for those guys. Okay guys, here we are in the film room looking at the man. Big Tev, Tevin Jenkins. Let's just watch this play. This is on normal speed. You get to see the pancake as Tev just drives his guy into the ground. I do want to take a moment to laugh at Lucas Patrick here, though. Watch Lucas Patrick trip. He steps on that guy's ankle. And, oh, oh. <sighs> Braxton Jones, a good job on the backside. But Tevin Jenkins coming through with the pancake. I'll slow it down here for you. This is just impressive. Look at the sheer dominance from Big Tev. This is what I'm talking about when I say that this guy is a tone setter. Here we get to see Tevin again. Watch him get to the second level here. This guy's just so impressive. Linebackers, safeties, they have no chance against Big Tevin Jenkins when he gets to him on the second level. He is an absolute monster, and I just love watching this guy on tape. Watch him just drive the lineman out of the play. If Cole Komet doesn't miss his block right here, then Foreman's going to have a large hole to run through. Unfortunately, Cole Komet, one of the few times he misses a block, Cole Komet is usually a very solid blocker. But this is just a Tevin Jenkins appreciation post right here. Here we go again. Watch Tevin. Aware. This play I really love. Look at him help with the combo block with Darnell Wright. Anybody in the NFL going against Darnell Wright and Tevin Jenkins, they simply do not stand a chance. But then watch Tev, look at him, head on a swivel. He's identified who he wants to block at the next level. And look at him absolutely just open this hole. Big hole right here, right? Except there's one guy in it. Tev waits for the right timing. Bounces off his guy. What I tell you, that safety just has no chance. Grabs him and then just imposes his will on him. Look at Braxton Jones here again on the backside, though. Welcome back, Braxton Jones. It's good to have you back. Look at him setting the edge. Watch Tev on this one. His man drops back into coverage. So since Tev has no one to block, like always, we saw this a lot with him last year. He's just going to go over here and help on Pro Bowl defensive end Cam Jordan there, driving him way out of the pocket. Good recognition and awareness by Tevin Jenkins. Let's watch Braxton Jones on the left side here. Nice job getting out of his stance with the kick step. Stops. Look at him anchor. Guy tries the bull rush, it doesn't work, tries to counter, tries to get around. Braxton Jones playing a lot better this year. He just needs to clean up on those penalties. This play might be the most impressive by Tevin Jenkins. Let's watch him. You'll see he gets out of his snap here and he's pulling. He's most likely pulling this way. But as Tev is pulling here, he identifies Mercedes Lewis getting beat. And he knows that Deontay Foreman is not going to be able to block that guy. And the play is going to get blown up. This is something that is not part of the play call. It's not part of the scheme. This is just Tevin Jenkins being very aware of his situation and what's going on. He stops pulling, comes to a stop, and grabs this defensive lineman and stops him from blowing up the play. Now, after he does that and he delivers the blow here, 
and he's like, all right, Deontay Foreman's got this, he's going to bounce back out to block some more. Look, he was going to make another block here. This is just an incredibly impressive play by Tevin Jenkins. It leads to a touchdown to Cole Komet. I believe if Tevin Jenkins doesn't stop and make this play, Tyson Bagent gets blown up here, and this play is not a touchdown. Tevin Jenkins makes this play happen. He is quite simply one of the best offensive linemen in football. Let's watch Tev again. Watch him on this one. He's going to help Darnell Wright with the combo block right off the bat. But then he's really aware. He knows Lucas Patrick doesn't always win his reps. Look at this. This is just impressive. Helping Darnell Wright with one hand, all while watching Lucas Patrick on his man, and then decides to help him out too, give that guy a shove. Tevin Jenkins is just an impressive guy. Now, meanwhile, I do want to show here, this is an impressive pocket. Look at this pocket. It's nice. Braxton Jones owning his guy. You got help up here. You got Darnell Wright and Deontay Foreman on the edge. And this is a clean pocket. The pocket is nice. Bajan is going to step up into pressure here and take the sack. If he would have hung out in this pocket back here, it was still clean. So this sack was on Bajan, not the offensive line. Another really impressive block by Tevin Jenkins on this next one. Watch his guy goes to the center. He's uncovered here. Watch this spin and realize Darnell Wright's man is beat. And then look at him block that guy. That's Cameron Jordan. That's not just some average defensive end. He just completely redirects Cam Jordan here. That is power. I don't even know if Cam Jordan knows where he's at after he gets hit here by Tev. Tev spins around, bop, sends him the other way, and Cam Jordan it looks like he's lost. He's trying to, he's now trying to get to the outside over here. I don't, I don't know exactly where he was going, but Bajan's gonna roll out the other way. I want to show Braxton Jones real quick before we leave this play. He's uncovered here, so he's going to help Cody Whitehair and just deliver an absolute blow to that guy. And he's aware, look at him, watches the stunt, grabs it, sees another guy coming in, grabs him too. This is just an awesome job by Braxton Jones here. Let's watch. Watch Tev on this rep. The guy loses his helmet. Pop. Get out of here, boy. Just watch how clean this pocket is. This is backed up inside our own 10-yard line. This is just a clean pocket. Darnell Wright winning. Tevin Jenkins winning. Cody Whitehair and Larry Borum winning. Tyson Bajan has all day to throw here. And even when teams only rush three or four guys, you don't see this a lot with the Bears. This offensive line is simply getting a lot better. Tevin Jenkins has always been one of my favorite players to study on tape. But his growth has been phenomenal. When he's healthy, he's simply one of the best interior offensive linemen in the NFL. He can pass block. He can run block. He's smart. He's aware, he's powerful, he's a tone setter. Look at him get to the second level and just destroy defensive backs. I routinely see plays like this on film with Tevin Jenkins. He's a guy who loves to finish blocks, and he brings a physical tone setting demeanor to this entire offensive line. I've already shown you a couple of his pancakes, but let's just take a look at one more here. Defensive tackle tries to beat him with a rip move inside. And Tev is just going to impose his manpower on this guy and just pancake him right to the turf. Tevin Jenkins is honestly one of the best offensive linemen in the entire NFL when he's healthy. Tevin Jenkins and Darnell Wright are tone setters. I believe Darnell Wright, Tevin Jenkins, Nate Davis, and Braxton Jones 
could all be long-term building blocks for this offensive line. And if we can get Nate Davis back soon, Tevin Jenkins and company can make this offensive line very respectable and possibly even be a top 10 unit if we can figure out the center position. These guys are all young, athletic, and hungry. I love the makings of our offensive line. We just got to get these guys healthy. I have more all 22s on the way. I'm going to be breaking down Montez Sweat and Tyson Bajant. I'll also have some longer videos debuting on my Patreon this week where I show off every snap of some of the Bears' best players. Stay tuned, guys. I put a ton of work into these videos, and I'm hustling. I don't get these videos early like media people do. I have to wait and get them like the rest of the world. And with the Thursday game, that gives me two days to watch tape and break down these videos. I'm working nonstop for you guys so we can have some All-22 before Thursday's Panther game. Please hit that like button for me, and until next time, bear down.